In this lesson, I'd like to look at how we can create our own email templates for use with the internal email client with Inside Sage CRM. You can see that I'm currently logged on as a sales user, and I happen to be looking at an opportunity for a 120 user expense system for a company called Gatecom. Now, Susan May is the user that I've logged on as, and I can and and I can uh, move at, within the email client. I can go and select uh, the particular template that I want to use, and you can see that this writes then the body of the email, uh, drawing uh, the information from both the uh, template text and also merging that with information uh, from uh, the current record and context. So. In this lesson, I want to look at how that's been uh, created and how we can then control uh, the usage of the uh, template by a user. So let's cancel that. And I'm going to uh, switch across into uh, the uh, environment here as uh, the system administrator. You can see I'm logged on as the system administrator and I'm going to come down into email and documents where I can start to create uh, the email templates. You can see that I've come down to administration, email and documents, email templates and it's here I can start to create or edit an existing template. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a template for use by support staff. Uh, so I'm going to actually create a, a standard response uh, after a case has been queued. Now, to do that, I've got to think about the context in which I want to use this particular email template. The last one that we looked at was the usage of an email template within the opportunity. And we saw that it merged in information about the opportunity as well as information about the uh, parental company and the parental person, as well as information from the current user. And you can see that when we come to create a template, we have the ability to select the context that it's being used in. Now, all those contexts mean that different fields will be available. So if I choose cases, the choose field to insert into the email text will be different here. So we can see a different set of fields will be available if we had chosen uh, the opportunity context. And that makes sense because we don't want opportunity information necessarily in the context of a case. And we can see from this slide that when we're in a different context, there are different information available to us because there is a different underlying view that is used in the process of creating the merge that goes into the template. So this is this information is documented. That's this is documented on the ecosystem. And if you search on the ecosystems, then you'll be able to find the references to uh, all of the details of the uh, email templates. Now it's important to realise that that we are not fixed fields that can be included within inside the template. It is something that is dynamic. So if the view encompasses a particular a table and you add a field to that table, that field will become available inside the mail merge as well. So if we go back into uh, here uh, and I consider just for a moment uh, the within customization and I look at the customization of the company, if I run down, I can see uh, that I've added here a custom field. And if I return into uh, email and documents and go to uh, my email templates, you'll be able to see that if I start creating a template for use in the context of the company, that field will be available to me. So if I look at the context of the company, we'll see in the fields that can be inserted into the email, not only the user information, not only the company information, but including our custom field. Now that custom field 
and any field in these list can just be clicked on to drop that uh, information into the body of uh, the email and we can also type in if we if we if we are confident with the names of the fields then you can type in as you would expect uh, the names of the fields as well so this when you come to create a template uh, you can either select the field or you can write the name of the field but you know that the information is being drawn from the underlying views and that includes the vSearch list user to always give you the information about the current user who is sending the email. In addition we've added the ability for individual users to create their own email signature and this can be overridden by the system administrator. The users can now create their own signature for emails without the need to be an administrator or an info manager and all the user needs to do is to go to preferences and then find the button which says create email signature and if I click to start creating the signature uh, you can see that uh, the email template can be personalized so we can drop in uh, merge fields uh, and then when we save the template uh, we can then see it being used So as a new email is created, the merge fields are completed to write the signature.